Okay guys, I wanted to show you how I posted a couple of videos I think about buying phones that are supposedly supposedly locked but they're actually not locked and I, I tell people this about it in person online and stuff but I wanted to go over the actual process and how I'm finding these phones. Uh, this is an iPhone 7. I picked it up today for $60 with a passcode. The phone I'm filming on is an iPhone 7 that I bought for $30 with a passcode. And what's happening is people see the passcode and they assume that it's iCloud locked, but in reality it's not, so all you have to do is restore it. And the way that I find these is I use OfferUp for the most part. And the thing about it is you have to be super fast. When somebody posts an iPhone 7, let's say, for $50, it generally will sell within one hour. And so what I do is I have a filter set up. So whatever phone model you set up, and I go 25, let's say 125. Okay. So these are all the iPhone 7s that are in that price range. You can set whatever you want. And then what you do is, um, let's see, not that one. I'm used to, where is it? I'm used to the iPhone version. So on the iPhone version, there's a little slider. You can save the search and it'll alert you every time an iPhone 7 pops up in this price range. And I pretty much do that all day. Um, I find one of these maybe, ones that work out like this. It's usually once a month. I've gotten already, I think, three or four of them this month. And uh, you can do iPhone 8, iPhone 10, whatever. So that's first one. You have to find the phone See, here's one. That one's too expensive, but you would find the phone, you would message the person, ask them for the IMEI, and then you're gonna use the IMEI to find out if Find My iPhone is enabled, also what carrier it's on. And uh, there are various websites that will do that, but a lot of them have advertising and they're kind of a pain to use. So I have created access to my checker here it's iphonesavage.com and you just click on checker there and so now you're going to get all the information um, i'm going to have it available it's going to be probably a dollar each or you can buy units like let's say 10 or 20 checks for a discount and uh, it's not here right now, but there will be a little box. You just type in the IMEI, it's gonna send it to me. I'll check it for you, and then um, you can just pay through Venmo or Cash App or whatever. It's not quite set up yet, but that's what you do. So then you're gonna go to, I would process it for you because I have to pay for it as well. This is the one that I did. Um, for the one I just bought. So before I went to buy it, I put this in, it says find my iPhone is off. So I knew it was not iCloud locked. When I bought it, it had the passcode. And I'll put a picture of that here in the video. Now be careful, this IMEI is from the SIM tray. Some people are sneaky and they'll change the SIM tray to a different one so then it looks like it's, it's, you know, it's not stolen or something. So always verify the SIM, the IMEI that they give you is the same one on the phone. And even if the phone is password locked, if you plug it in and click on um, 3U tools, you will be able to see the serial number. So you can verify that that's the actual phone. And that's it. So you just restore it. 
and of course um, there's plenty of videos about that also because this was an AT&T phone it can easily be unlocked so I ran the IMEI here it says clean that means it's paid off and not lost or stolen and now I can unlock it so it's gonna be unlocked for any carrier and here's the phone right here it's cracked so I already have a screen I'm gonna change the screen to another original iPhone screen from an iCloud Lock 7 so it will stay original it's 128 gig which is a bonus and then I'll post it online for see if we can get 200 bucks for it and so that's how you make money just buying phones and reselling them so good luck out there if you have any questions let me know and check out the website iphonesavage.com for more tips